Hi everyone, welcome to Fizcam with Liz. In this video, we're going to look at how to construct a Born Harbour cycle and how to calculate a lattice enthalpy for magnesium chloride. If you've just watched the NaCl example, the sodium chloride one, that was the simplest example. So this one is the next one up where we've got a 2 plus metal iron and a 1 minus non-metal iron. So we've got one extra step in the cycle. In this example, it's the same kind of thing. The only extra step is the second ionization energy of the magnesium because since magnesium is in group two, it doesn't form a one plus metal ion, it forms a two plus metal ion. And the other different thing compared to the sodium chloride example is that since we have two formula units of the chloride, so the formula is Mg, one of those, Cl2, two of the chlorine, that means if we have any steps that involve just the chlorine, like atomization of chlorine and electron affinity of the chlorine, we have to times those numbers by two because there's two formula units of the chlorine. So these are the only two steps, atomization of chlorine and electron affinity of chlorine that we times by two because of this formula. All right, so it's the same process again. We draw our cycle, we have all the steps, we include our equations with state symbols in, pop our numbers in that we're given in the question or that we get from a data book or a textbook and we apply Hess's law. So root one in the pink going clockwise is equal to root two in the blue going anti-clockwise. So the energy change needed to get from here to here is the same as the energy needed to get from here to here. So there's two routes to get from this to this. Go around this way or around this way. So we collect all the terms involved in root one. Don't forget to times these chlorine ones by two. So I've done that here. This lattice enthalpy that we're trying to work out is involved in root one. So we'll add that in as well. I've represented that by a question mark and we write it equal to any term involved in root two. So we've got this one minus 642. Now we need to rearrange in terms of lattice enthalpy, which is what we want to find out. So we put lattice enthalpy on the left hand side at the start. We write it equal to this. Then we move this big term here over to the right hand side. It's positive at the moment, change sides, change signs. So we stick a negative in front and then we pop it into our calculator to get minus 2528 kilojoules per mole. So enthalpy changes are always in kilojoules per mole. And I'll show you how to pop this in your calculator. Okay, this minus 642 minus brackets 150 plus so I've done this sum already, this 1, 2, 1 times 2. I've worked it out here, that's 242. That's where that number came from. Plus 736 plus 1450 plus minus 692 equals minus 2528. And the bigger the negative number, the bigger the enthalpy change, the stronger the bonds are in the ionic compound. So if you've watched the sodium chloride video, this is a bigger negative number compared to the lattice enthalpy that we got for sodium chloride. Therefore, the bonds in magnesium chloride are stronger compared to the bonds in sodium chloride. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.